everybody, Roger says, hey, I couldn't kick off the World War One series that we're doing with the Great War without doing this video because so many of you guys have sent it to me asking me to watch it and I wanted to watch it with all of you for the first time. Hopefully it won't get copyright blocked, but um, you never know. But yeah, I've never seen Black Adder ever before, so this will be my very first time watching it. Now since I got interested in World War One, I've had a lot of you guys link me to this video about how the war started. And I've also had Blackadder mention to me because I am watching Dad's Army right now. I'm going through the first season on Patreon. And I've had a lot of you guys tell me that the other sitcom I have to watch that's a must watch is Black Adder along with Allo Allo. So it is my intention to actually watch this entire series. I'm gonna wait until I'm done with Dad's Army, I think. But I'm gonna go ahead and watch this little clip. It's only like two and a half minutes, so it's not very long. So I guess the good thing is it's not going to spoil anything for me. The bad thing is I don't know who these characters are. I hope I'll still get the gist of it even without knowing the characters. I did look up the show though because I wanted to just have some idea for what I was watching. It looks like this was um, a sitcom that is is divided into different historical periods so each uh, season or series as you guys would say over in the UK is a different era in history and the last series apparently ended in 1917 you know on the show not the actual series <laughs> and there are only six episodes in it too so you guys uh, don't do as many episodes in your seasons or series over there in the UK as we typically do over here in the US although that's changing you know but uh, it says here in Wikipedia Blackadder follows the misfortunes of Edmund Blackadder played by Rowan Atkinson I've heard of him before I, I can't uh, place him though but the name is super familiar and I don't know why. Uh, but his character Edmund is a member of the same British family dynasty it looks like in each of the different series. Which actually that's a really cool idea. <laughs> that would pre be pretty fun to watch I think. It looks like his character is not particularly bright so he's like one of those you know kind of like dumb dizzy characters I guess. But it looks like in a different version like in a different series his character is really clever and shrewd and scheming so I guess it depends on the series and which character he's playing. Looks like it started in 1983 and ended in uh, 1989. So it was in the 80s when this was made. Why is it called Black Adder though? Is it just, does he just name it after himself? I thought Black Adder was uh, referencing a character or something like that, but it just seems like it's just the guy named it after himself. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to this. I hope it's good. You guys have told me so many good things about this series, so I'm really interested to see what kind of humor it has, what the characters are like, you know, and all of that stuff. I have been uh, enjoying Dad's Army, so it'll be interesting to see how this contrasts with that or how it's similar in, in any way. So yeah, let's just go ahead and check this out, and I hope I get the references because I have been watching, you know, all of the uh, preludes and all of the stuff leading up to World War One, and I just released my very first video in the Great War series on World War One uh, earlier today, so hopefully I will understand these references that they're going to be talking about. What are all the new except sit and wait? Well, I don't know, so we could, uh, we could have a jolly game of charades. Oh, yes. And uh, sing along of musical hits like Birmingham Bertie and uh, whoops, Mrs. McGinn's you're setting on my artichokes. <laughs> yes, I think bugger all might be rather more fun. <laughs> Permission to ask a question, sir? Permission granted, Baldrick, as long as it isn't the one about where babies come from. <laughs> no, the thing is, the way I see it, these days there's a war on, right? And ages ago there wasn't a war on, right? So there must have been a moment when they're not being a war on went away, right? And there being a war on came along. So what I want to know is <laughs> how did we get from the one case of affairs to the other case of affairs? Do you mean, how did the war start? <laughs> yeah. The that war looks familiar. Because of the vile Hun and his villainous empire building. George, the British Empire at present covers a quarter of the globe, while the German Empire consists of a small sausage factory in Tanganyika. <laughs> I hardly think that we can be entirely absolved from blame on the imperialistic front. Uh, oh, no. No, sir. Absolutely not. Man's a bison. <laughs> I heard that it started when a bloke called Archie Duke shot an ostrich because he was hungry. 
What? You mean it started when the Archduke of Austro-Hungary got shot? <laughs> no, there was definitely an ostrich involved. So. <laughs> well, possibly. But the real reason for the whole thing was that it was just too much effort not to have a war. By gum, this is interesting. I always loved history. That's actually Battle really Hastings, interesting. Henry VIII and his six knives, all that. <laughs> You see, Baldrick, in order to prevent war in Europe, two super blocks developed. Us, the French and the Russians on one side, and the Germans and Austro-Hungary on the other. The idea was to have two vast opposing armies, each acting as the other's deterrent. That way, there could never be a war. But this is a sort of a war, isn't it, sir? Yes, that's right. You see, there was a tiny flaw in the plan. What was that, sir? It was bollocks. <laughs> The poor old ostrich died for nothing. <laughs> oh, that's where you guys get that. Okay. Okay, I have seen a lot of different comments referring to ostriches. Ostrich. Ost ost I can't say it. Ostrich. Ostriches. How, ost how do you say multiple ostriches? <laughs> I can't say it. The ostrich. <laughs> I've had a lot. I've had a lot of you guys comment on um, the poor ostrich died for nothing. I've seen that in my comments and I have no I I had no idea like what that was referencing, so now I get it. Okay. I really like the explanation that he said. Um, I actually forgot how he put it. Um, it would have been too hard to not have a war, and I kind of like understand that actually between the Seminole tragedy and uh, Andy Nidell explaining stuff in the prelude videos. I kind of like understand like the tensions were just boiling. They were so hot that it would have been more difficult to not go to war and to try and cool everything down than it would have been to just like, you know, go ahead with it. So I kind of like get that, but it, it was a really, really cool, like succinct way to put it. I don't know which one is Black Adder. The guy that was asking the questions with the glasses though, he looks really familiar to me for some reason. I don't think that was Rowan Atkinson though. It seemed like the guy with the stuff up his nose. That might have been Blackadder? I don't know. He seemed like the main character to me, so that's why I'm saying that. The difference between this and Dad's Army, from what I can tell from just like this two little minute clip, is that this show is a little bit more relying on um, like jokes and quips, and Dad's Army is more reliant on uh, like slapstick stuff. It gets some good jokes in as well, but uh, there's a lot of slapstick in Dad's Army. This seem to be more of them just kind of like talking and and doing the jokes but like i said this is just a very very short two minute clip so i could be completely wrong about that but it does look like an interesting series that i would like to watch uh just as soon as i'm done with dad's army speaking of which if you guys are interested in watching dad's army with me i've got the full episodes up on uh patreon we're doing one a week so you guys can enjoy that there i will probably be posting just like abbreviated versions here on youtube because it does get copyrighted copyrighted like that, so I have to be very careful about what I put on YouTube. Again, this is a BBC show, so I'm hoping this doesn't get copyrighted so you guys can at least see this one. So anyway, thanks guys for recommending this video to me. Really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button for me. It would mean a lot. And then also you can find the links to my Patreon, Discord, and social media down in the description and the pinned comment as well. So Roger here and I hope you guys stay tuned for more World War stuff coming up, the Great War, and um, we look forward to seeing you again.